So I've just uncovered. Um, obviously I had polythene on top of my hessian because uh, there's no point in having hessian on a wall if it's going to get saturated. And so it's just a recap. Um, the last time I was here, obviously I uh, lasered all the way through to make sure that the first course came through level. This is up to the gate. And um, we've got a bit of a chunky um, pier at the end, but it finishes here. I'm gonna have like crease and tiles or something on the top, I haven't decided yet. But then we've got pineapple um, to go on there. And in the middle section, um, if I just um, clarify first of all, that where I've just started to indent there, um, that's gonna be an outdoor fireplace, just in that bit. So this section here, we're gonna have a bullseye which is going to be uh, quite a nice biggish one um, with the cartwheel in it um, very similar to the wheels that are on there so um, I'll have to hammer it and everything and then in this section um, we're going to have something else obviously to balance up where we're going to have this cartwheel this cartwheel hopefully um, the thought is to have like cobblestones as a core behind the actual wheel um, but we'll we'll see how that goes. Um, and as I said, in the far end, still a bit undecided what to have here. But again, this is going to be uh, just a fireplace. And um, I'll probably have a panel in the back of it, but obviously it's going to get all sorted up, so it hasn't got to be anything too elaborate. As it come up, I'm thinking about probably doing a little bit of tumbling in before we get to a, a nice little stack on there. Um, again, this is all... Uh, make it up as you go along type thing <clears throat> so um and we'll just see how it all goes um so for now obviously i'm making a run through i'm gonna have to start racking back on both sides um just um from the center and just so uh, i can get the bullseye in position um and that's it really so my setup is uh got my bricks obviously stacked that would have been nice to have them on blocks or something because uh, the bottom ones are going to get saturated here but I'll just have to want to get down there just obviously not use them and dry them ones out later so I've got my tools got my boards my stands got my muck mixed up so all I've got to do now is um, make myself a little gauge rod um, and just put some marks on that steel and I'll just transfer the marks onto the profile and I'll just spend this morning while the temperature's up a little bit I think we're about five degrees now and uh, we will see how we get on so what I'm choosing to do here is keep a plumb point just there and also a plumb point just there Let's see on the back end of that stretcher. And it's just so that um, this section of wall obviously goes up nice, or joints go up nice and uh, bond, true bond, and this side as well. So when I've uh, completed the bullseye, then obviously um, all these joints in this section uh, wouldn't have wandered around. So when I brick over the top, um, they will meet up the same as what the bottom does. And also, as we always do, where we have an indent, um, I will plumb up that header just to make sure that the indent goes up nice and plumb so when this wall comes out later on for the fireplace um, I'll fit into my indents all nicely. Right, to start running in. Bed joint first. I just want to emphasize something here. I've mentioned this before in one of my videos. But these bricks, I've got a nice sharp arras on one side, there it is, and the other side they're a bit rounded. Same with the headers, you've got a lovely sharp arras there and around there, That's how they are in the mould. So these two sides, I wouldn't have the face. I'll keep the crisp edge and the crisp edge, so this would be a stretcher face and that would be my header face. Just make sure I do that each time. Right, so I'm on the indent here, so I'm gonna 
lay the back one first. Like so. in this spot. I know where I put them. There they are. Then get my bed for my next header. I think I've got to need my van. So I've just uncovered and just got a little bit of mortar on the boards and I'm going to carry on through here and this is obviously where we said the cartwheel and bullseye is going to go so I just measured that and that's about 11.35 so um, from that obviously I can ascertain where um, the halfway point is where I will um, obviously sit, stick my piece of wood and trammel on. So um, that's the height that I will need to go to. So I'll sort that out and get uh, running in. Although it's not really a massive amount of running in because I've only got a little bit where we said um, that's indented there. That's the first jam of the fireplace. So um, we've only got a little bit there. And then we get the dog to even. Then there's going to be the cartwheel bit more dog to even and have a pier. So um, that's uh, kind of fiddly stuff on the dog to even really. So all should look alright though, I hope. 